Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the School of Nursing at Tennessee State University. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the School of Nursing at uh, Tennessee State University, Dr. Yvonne N. Stringfield. Uh, Dr. Stringfield is the BSN Program Director for the School of Nursing at Tennessee State University. And Dr. Stringfield, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. I'm very pleased to be here. And we're pleased to have you to talk about what we consider to be a very, very important topic. As a matter of fact, Dr. Stringfield, we've had a number of occasions to have uh, people to uh, talk about the School of Nursing, but not recently. And I guess the last time that we uh, talked about nursing, uh, we were talking about the shortage uh, in nursing and et cetera. And of course, you will talk about some <laughs> aspects of that today. But before we get into that, let's give you an opportunity to talk about uh, Yvonne and Stringfield. Let's have you to talk about your background, your education, and some of the things that you consider to be important and eventually leading you to the position of uh, the program director of the BSN program at uh, Tennessee State University. Let's do it from that perspective, and then we'll talk about some of these other things. Okay, well, I come from Newport News, Virginia, mm -hmm. which is about 30 miles inland from the Atlantic Ocean, mm -hmm. so I'm landlocked here in Nashville. <laughs> uh, my education was at several different places. I received my associate's degree in nursing mm -hmm. from Thomas Nelson Community College, mm -hmm my BS and master's degree in nursing from Hampton Institute and Hampton University, mm -hmm. one in the same, but name changed over a period of years, mm -hmm. and my um, educational specialist degree and my doctorate in education from the, un from the College of William and Mary in mm -hmm. Williamsburg, Good. Virginia. I've taught in academia for the past, since about 1986, I've been in the university setting, mm -hmm. and I've taught in diploma program, I've taught in an, an associate's program, mm -hmm. I've taught RN to BSN, I've taught in four year, and now I am at TSU in the BS program there. Mm -hmm. I have done numerous things in the community, specifically with the American Heart Association in Newport News. Mm -hmm. uh, I served on numerous committees there. I taught CPR, and I think one of the uh, things about teaching CPR was the, that it required me to travel all over the state. So mm -hmm. I was very familiar with the state, uh, even so much, even so much so at the FBI Academy, I taught CPR there, not just CPR, but I taught people there to become teachers of CPR because I had the rank of affiliate faculty. And from there, I have done so many other things with nursing. I have, uh, I'm published and I've published several, had several articles published. I have uh, done reviews of various nursing journals, nursing books, nursing articles. And I have, with Backing up to the American Heart Association, mm -hmm. I do want to add that I did serve in the capacity of chair of numerous committees mm -hmm. with that particular organization at the state level and local level, and I was president at the local level for two years and vice president at the local level for another two mm -hmm. years. And I believe that all of that has brought me where I am today. Very good. You know, uh, I think that you, know, you do bring some excellent information. Uh, about a number of topics that we are interested in and that we've done on this show. But let's uh, talk about nursing. I think that we indicated earlier that uh, the last time we had an opportunity to, to do a show on nursing, it, the title was The Shortage in Nursing and et cetera. And, and I understand that uh, there still might be a shortage, but let's have you to look at uh, nursing primarily from a national perspective with all of your experiences and et cetera, and et cetera. And sort of give our audience uh, some idea this morning uh, within eight or nine minutes of the status of nursing in uh, the United States in about eight or nine minutes from that perspective. Let's look at it from that perspective. When we speak of the nursing shortage, we have to look regionally and mm -hmm. sometimes we have to look very locally. Mm -hmm. The shortage may be in, as an example, Knoxville, mm -hmm. but there may not be a shortage here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. There may be a shortage on the East Coast, but not on the West mm -hmm. Coast. So when we talk about shortages, and overages really mm -hmm. also, we really have to look from district to district, mm -hmm. from region to region to see what it is that is short. Do we have an overabundance here? Mm -hmm. There are those areas across the nation wherein there are lots of schools, mm -hmm. so there are lots of nurses mm -hmm. being produced, so to speak, from those schools. Mm -hmm. And in those areas, if those nurses, once they graduate, they side that they want to stay there, mm -hmm. then there's an overabundance. Mm -hmm. And we may find that there are nurses looking for jobs instead of hospitals looking for nurses. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but I think around in this area, we are probably right where we need to be, where nurses are concerned. Mm -hmm. I don't believe there's a shortage here necessarily mm -hmm. at this moment as I speak. Mm -hmm. Who knows what it will show Good. in the next month, mm -hmm. but this is where it is right now. Mm -hmm. um, there, and hospitals have different ways of handling that situation also. One of the things that happened in health care over the past um, few years or so, and most of the nation is aware of the mm -hmm. fact that with health care the way it is right now and reimbursement and so forth, mm -hmm. a lot of people are being sent home from the hospitals Good. a lot mm -hmm. earlier and sicker than they used to be, mm -hmm. say, back in the early 1980s. Mm -hmm. With that, nurses have found a place outside of the hospital. Mm -hmm. They are in, they work with health insurance companies. Mm -hmm. They have formed their own businesses. Uh, some mm -hmm. of the home health agencies that were very, very popular mm -hmm. during the late 80s and early 90s were formed by nurses, nurses. and they were mm -hmm. nurse-owned businesses. And over that period of time, with the establishment of the home health agencies and nurses leaving the hospital, so to speak, mm -hmm. we have found nurses doing other th many, many other things mm -hmm. in the community because now mm -hmm. nursing has gone to the community. We don't find nurses strictly in hospitals, and I think that may be a problem or one of the things that most people think nurses are strictly in the hospital and Good. the only place mm -hmm. they'll see them is in the, the hospital, hospital. Good. when mm -hmm. in essence we're going to find nurses everywhere they're in industry mm -hmm. you, there you will find them as i said before with working with insurance mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. you will find them working outside in their own businesses as mm -hmm. consultants mm -hmm. to hospitals to schools of nursing to other health care organizations mm -hmm. you'll find them working with volunteer organizations mm -hmm. such as the american heart association and i don't mean as a volunteer mm -hmm. as i was but as a mm -hmm. as officers mm -hmm. not officers necessarily but as a hired person per within that organization staff within right that. Mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. believe nurses mm -hmm. have a lot to contribute mm -hmm. to just about any walk of life because in any walk of life health care is really an issue mm -hmm. and nurses are on the forefront when it comes to that mm -hmm. nurses are in various areas we specialize mm -hmm. my specialty for instance is cardiology mm -hmm. we have nurses who specialize in pediatrics in mm -hmm. ob mm -hmm. in labor and delivery mm -hmm. in um, medical surgical nursing mm -hmm. in neurology mm -hmm. so nurses are have a particular background mm -hmm. specific backgrounds that allow them to move freely across many walks mm -hmm. of life and be very very um, product oriented mm -hmm and be producing people when they're in those organizations mm -hmm. and with those groups. In other words, over the last many years, the uh, status of nurses have changed tremendously in tremendously. perception uh, in, in the perception of how we see nurses. Uh, generally, most of us think in terms of a nurse assisting a doctor. Right. And what you're saying now is that nurses are health care delivery persons, and they might be found anywhere you find a doctor or anybody else. Right. Is that, is that Once upon a time, nurses were called the handmaiden of the physician. Mm -hmm. That is no longer so. Mm -hmm. Nurses need to, need to and do work side by side with the physician. Mm -hmm. We have to remember that nurses are in the hospital 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. They have the most intimate contact with the patient. Mm -hmm. And how often when the patient becomes ill, how long rather, mm -hmm. is the physician with that patient mm -hmm. during the day? Mm -hmm. Maybe a limited five to 10 minutes mm -hmm. if, it's, if there's not an emergency. Mm -hmm. So it's that nurse who truly learns what's going on with mm -hmm. that patient, what's happening with the family, how those activities with the family may be impacting that Good. illness mm -hmm. and working alongside the doctor work with that doctor and tell the doctor hey this is what I found out do you think this is a problem mm -hmm. and what can we do about it from mm -hmm. your viewpoint mm -hmm. and of course that that gives uh, a, a much broader as a matter of fact I, I think Dr. Stringfield uh, your position here as the uh, program direct BSN program director for the uh, Tennessee State University mm -hmm. School of Nursing program I think that sort of illustrates uh, the kind of activities that uh, nurses are involved in and some of the things that you've already said that you've been involved in, uh, you know, uh, not only uh, as volunteering, but also as a paid staff person in right. those areas. I think that that illustrates uh, that uh, nurses do more than simply uh, assist doctors. And of course, when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, the uh, nursing program at Tennessee State University. And we'll be back with our audience following this short commercial break.